why in the world did I write down bus driver? I saw many of you looking at this thing and <laughs> writing down, writing down, uh, taking pictures, all kind of good stuff. I don't know what most, you don't know what most of this stuff means to me, but this one probably was, who, who saw the word bus driver and said, what is that? Right, see that? We're all bus drivers in one sense or another, which means we, each and every one of us, by the nature of who we are and what we've chosen to do or what has chosen us, have the ability to positively impact people's lives. True or false? Oh, yeah. Every single day. Whether we are physically doing it or not, actually doing it or not, just having a conversation, just the fact, is, was it really necessary for the host to walk to the corner and look for cars slowing down at the bottom of the driveway <laughs> and, you, and send the vibrations of, yes, this is it, turn up, read the sign and come up and wave and welcome walking down. Was it necessary? No, it wasn't necessary. That's just who some people are, right? So when, when, you're a, when you have the ability to positively impact someone's life, all we have to do is and this is part of the afternoon session, is first of all, get on people's radar. Do they know who we are? Do they know we exist? Do they know how we've helped others, how we might be able to help them, and then get into some type of a dialogue or interaction so that we can have a conversation to see if they'll simply allow us to help them? Isn't that all that we do? Because being good at what we do that just gets you in the door. That's just the ante to play the game. You've kind of figured out that being great at what you do doesn't really make the biggest difference in being successful as a business. You figure that out by now, right? It's not just being a great masseuse or a great hair person or a great business. You have to be able to actually have that conversation, get on people's radar, have them know about us and be thinking about us when they're ready to make a decision, and then enter into some type of interaction, maybe get them to do a trial, whatever, or whatever, and then all of a sudden, okay, I will allow you to help me. Thanks, that's why we're here. So what does this mean, bus driver? We're just bus drivers going somewhere, taking people from one, one place to another. Would anybody get on a bus if they didn't know the destination? Would you get on a bus if you didn't know the destination? No, of course not. So we're bus drivers. We have to tell people where we're going, where we have the opportunity of taking them and giving them the opportunity to get on or not. But if we don't know where we're going, how can we tell somebody else where we're going? If we can't get on their radar and have them understand that this is just part of the journey, Get on, get off, if you, whatever you do is awesome, right? If you allow me to help you, awesome. If you choose not to do so, awesome. But my job, your job, is to get that message out there so that they can at least know that we exist and this is how we can help them. Now, will everybody ride on the bus to the, to the end destination? No. Some people will choose not to get on in the first place for whatever reason. They tell us they want to go to this destination. We're showing them that we've helped other people get there. We're on our way. We pull up and say, hey, come on. And guess what they say sometimes? No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Has that confused anybody ever? <laughs> it confused me a lot. That's not our deal to figure out why they choose not to hop on the bus that's gonna take them to the destination they say they wanna to get to, that you've proven you've taken other people to before, if that doesn't, that's okay, don't worry about that. Our deal is just to show up, understanding some people get on, some people won't. Well, guess what, it's okay. Some people will get on, and we're starting in moving toward the destination, we can see it, it's getting closer. Wherever they were before is getting further and further background. And guess what some of them do? They get off. Okay. 
maybe we didn't get to the destination they thought as quick as they thought we were going to go or they should get to or they thought it was going to be easier. They didn't realize they were going to have to drive the bus sometime, all that kind of good stuff. So what does this all have to do with this? What does it all have to do is we have to know where we're going and we have to be able to share with the world those, maybe our world of Escalon, maybe it's Main Street, maybe it's now that we've, we've put our toe in the water of, of virtual, you can do it anywhere. I've seen some very savvy entrepreneurs who've been able to learn and or leverage technology and they're doing this stuff in people in different countries. It's pretty exciting now that we've been able to leverage something we've done our entire career and now multiply it by technology, it's really gonna get exciting for people to choose to take advantage of it. So that just means, it's just the mindset of a successful entrepreneur, understanding that whatever your purpose is, whatever your passion is, you know what you know, you know how you can help others, and it's not your, it's not your responsibility for them to decide or to get disappointed or frustrated or whatever on if they, those people choose not to hop on your bus at all. They choose to hop on early. Maybe they hop on and get off and they say, hey, I'll be back around, right? So that's, that's what this means. Does that help at all a little bit? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Hmm. Here's a good one, okay. If I was to ask you, and I've looked at your website, I've even hopped on some of your, your uh, Facebook pages. Because if you know one person and you know somebody else's name, you can go to their, their Facebook page and look on friends and do on search and you can see what they're doing. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's, it's, but the cool part is whatever we put out there, it's out there and it's out there for a reason and now I know how many cool, amazing people are out there who are doing something like this. So if I was to ask you what Escalon Fit does. What do you guys do? What would you say? Just, and he's like, open your chest. It's not, not a trick question, kind of. Not a trick question, but what do you guys do? Just kind of call it out. Wellness. Wellness, what else? Trends and fitness. Fitness, what else? <laughs> what, would, what would people know it as? A gym. gym. Gym, okay, gym, what else? Spa. When we were going, when we were going around the, the horn and you were introducing yourself, you would say your name, you'd say, I'm a, or I do this, or, so what do you, what do, you do? Salon. 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 What do we do? Help people. Help people. What do we do? All things. How do you call it? What do you, how do you describe it? I do this. I do One that. stop shop. Yeah. <laughs> what do you say? Pilates. And Pilates. What else? <laughs> Skincare. What else? Skin this is the easy part. I thought Salon. it was. This is the easy part. Huh? Nutrition. Nutrition. What do we do? Sauna. 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 What do we do? Fitness. Fitness. What else? Waxing. Waxing. <laughs> what else? Massage. 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 Yoga. Yoga. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Stuff like that. Right? Right? Yes. Okay. Here's the challenge. Nobody really wants those things in itself. They want what those things or those activities enable them to do and or feel, right? Yes. So you already beat me to the punch, but it's to make a point is when we've helped people, and I know by the nature of who you are, where you are, who you're associated with, you help people every single day, right? Whether you get paid for it or not whether it's in your areas of expertise or not. So how do people feel after they've gotten from where they started to where they are now? How do they feel? Better. They feel better. Rejuvenated. Strong. Rejuvenated. Strong. Healthy. Amazing. Healthier. Right? Pretty. Pretty. Loved. And when you feel pretty and when you feel loved, it changes everything. Mm -hmm. Right? So I'm not sure what you're saying when you're saying what you're saying. <laughs> All I'm saying, I never said that before. <laughs> All I'm saying is that's what we have to help people understand is we're just taking them from 
where they are to where they want to go, even if they don't know they want to go there yet. Right? Because we encounter people and help people who don't even understand or believe that it's possible for them. They may have seen all these success stories, all of these before and after stuff, and they say, awesome, wow, I could never do that. I wish that was me, I wish I could do this, I wish I was all kind of stuff, right? So it's all about the connection. So why am I dragging you through all this stuff? I thought we were here to talk about discovering your passion. Yeah. Because when you truly understand how you're helping people and you're able to articulate that in some type of a message or a purpose and you start sharing that with people, they'll really understand that, okay, I never thought about Pilates before for me. I've never thought about, I've heard about all these stuff that people do with yoga for other people. I didn't realize that'll actually help me feel better. That'll actually help me have more energy. That'll en enable me to do more things for myself, for my business, for my passion, for my family, and this is just a vehicle to help me get there. Cool. I'll ride for a while. <laughs>